as I had so many things with this thing, so many ups and downs that I decided to do a short video uh, to help anybody that's doing this project of the Anycubic Mega S MK4 direct extruder. I did a direct extruder and I did also the only the upgrade for the Bolden. Uh, you know, but um, I wanted already to go to the direct extruder. So uh, a few quick hints to anybody that the, this uh, Noqua small fan is a great, great uh, upgrade. You can buy it on Amazon. A few hints, uh, it takes the V6 hot tube, not the V5, that is the, the one that comes with the printer. So make sure to buy the V6. And I bought a V6, however, the thermistor, that is this little wire here, it was not being recognized by the printer. So I got it out from the previous uh, V5, from the V5 um, hot tube, from this one. I took it out. You see the shape is different, this one is more square. I took it out and I placed the original one, the original thermistor and um, and uh, the other wire that makes it hot direct and then it worked. Uh, also, what else? Yeah, basically that's it. If you guys get everything else going, you can print it. And it's a nice upgrade to oh, also the motor make sure that the motor you did doesn't need to you don't need to invert the red and blue wire and it should be good to go i'm going to test now later i'm going to put the link for the for this fan and for the the bl touch that is the auto leveling so you guys can buy it also you have to get, have this fan right this extra fan here by the way that means let me plug it here, yeah. And uh, well, I'm going to test now to see if everything works. And I keep you guys updated, okay? Have a great one.